Hello friends, this video on P-Block part 47 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more PA from exam. Let's talk about the reaction with oxygen. Take like halogen will form a lot of oxides with oxygen. Okay. So as I told, halogen forms many oxides with oxygen, but most of them are unstable. For example, fluorine will form two oxides, OF2. O2F2. This is my oxygen fluoride. This is dioxygen difluoride. And out of these, this is actually thermally stable at 298. Thermally stable at my 298 Kelvin. But this is unstable. Okay. Please note, as I told you the name, that this name is oxygen. This is called oxygen fluoride. And this is called dioxygen fluoride. Okay. But if you talk about other fluoride, oxides, uh, you see the formula as, for example, Cl2O. Cl2O3. So in this case, first chlorine comes, then oxygen comes. But here, first oxygen comes and then chlorine comes. Any guess why? Think from the electronegativity perspective. I told that the first element is more electropositive. This is more electronegative. If you talk about the electronegativity, fluorine has the electronegativity of 4. Oxygen is almost 3.44. Then we have chlorine 3.16 and then I have bromine is almost 2.96 and then I have iodine that is almost 2.6. So if we compare oxygen and fluorine, fluorine is more electronegative. So fluorine comes in the last, oxygen comes in the first. If you talk, compare chlorine and oxygen, chlorine and oxygen, chlorine is more electronegative. So, uh, sorry, yeah. So my chlorine comes, oxygen is more electronegative, so oxygen comes last, chlorine is more electropositive, so chlorine comes first. Okay, same thing if you see the bromine, bromine, bromine oxide or something like this. So oxygen is more electronegative, oxygen comes in the last, bromine comes in the first. Iodine also, oxides are of this form, I2O4 kind of form, or I2O5, I2O7. So this guy also if you see, oxygen is more electronegative, so oxygen comes later and because of this if you see this is called oxygen fluoride but other halogens if you see they are called halogen oxide okay this is oxygen fluoride kind of name dioxygen fluoride but this is chlorooxide right dichlorooxide dichlorotrioxide those kind of name correct this is oxygen fluoride and this is uh, halide first and then oxide. Please pay a little attention here. Why? Because of the change in electronegativity here when you talk about oxygen and uh, other elements. When we had, when we talked about uh, HX, so in this case all the X were more electronegative so it was always HX. When you talk about oxygen and uh, oxygen and X combination, fluorine comes later but chlorine, bromine and iodine they comes before oxygen because of the electronegativity difference okay now let's talk about uh, the uses of this for example O2F2 is my dioxygen fluoride and this is used uh, for nuclear plants it is used to oxidize plutonium from nuclear plant. Plutonium directly from nuclear plant is dangerous. So what we do is this O2F2 will actually react with this plutonium and to form PUF6. And this is little not uh, harmful. Okay. Now let's talk about this fluorine is done. Let's talk about the oxides of chlorine, bromine and iodine. So we talk about chlorine. So chlorine has different oxides, Cl2O, Cl2O3, ClO2, Cl2O6, Cl2O7 like that. If we talk about bromine, bromine will have different oxides, 
Br2, Br2, 5, Br2, 7, like that. And, and if you talk about iodine, it will have oxide like I2O4, I2O5, I2O7, and like that. Okay. These chlorine oxides are actually explosives. These are all explosives. These bromine oxides, they exist at low temperature. They exist at low temperature. We talk about the iodine one, they actually decompose. They decompose on heating. On heating, this decompose. So stability of oxide, if you talk about iodines are a little more stable, then we have uh, bromine and then we have chlorine. And the chlorines are explosives. Uh, these bromines are okay, they exist at low temperature, but the iodines ones are uh, again more stable. They decompose only on heating. But the chlorines are pretty explosive. This ClO2 actually is uh, used for breathing agent. No, sorry, yeah. It's a, it's a bleaching agent, it is used for bleaching agent. We'll talk about the bleaching action of. Uh, Chlorine is, is used for bleaching action and this is for the used for bleaching my paper pulp Also for bleaching clothes to give different shades in the textile we use that It's also used for water treatment. We'll discuss about that and here I205 it is used to estimate my carbon monoxide carbon monoxide Estimating it is used in that. Okay. Structure wise, if you see ClO2, it is something like this Cl. Yeah. Cl2O. Yeah. And this angle is 112 degree. 112 degree. If we talk about ClO2, I have a chlorine here, I have oxygen here, I have oxygen here, and this angle is 118. I'm not covering all the oxides, only a few of the oxides I talked about the structures and the properties, those the one which are pretty useful in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. So that's all we have in the reaction with oxygen. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.